Music is music. And talent is talent. I don't care who you are. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 music myths debunked. To get on those big playlists, you have to be on a major label. For this list, we'll be focusing on things musicians and artists tend to misunderstand about getting into and working in the music business. Have you ever played in a band or even an instrument? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The industry is dead. It seems the media is always trying to push this idea that the music industry is either dead or dying. Everything that we thought the music industry was is dead. For decades, the tried and true methods of getting music to the masses were king. Watch the vibe around the drinks and tell them we're signing. Labels would sign an artist, give them a deal, get their music on the radio, and boom, they become successful. So once the MP3 was introduced, everything changed. Just like a carpenter who crafts a table gets to decide whether he wants to keep it, sell it, or give it away, shouldn't we have the same options? We should decide what happens to our music. The industry is not dead. It's merely in the middle of a transformation we haven't seen finish. So as we can, we're replacing her with Spotify. There's been no slowdown on the demand for new music, just a shift in the way fans discover and consume it. <laughs> Number nine, music theory hampers creativity. We start off with the fun stuff, music theory. <laughs> when it comes to the creative process, it can often be thought of as something coming from within that you should follow. We actually write songs together. We write songs. We wrote one before and we wrote one recently. I feel like we should test the uh, waters. These instincts drive creativity, and one shouldn't be held back by conventional rules to create great art. It's therefore easy to think that learning the theory or practicality of any art form may interfere with unadulterated creative expression. The truth is, learning the core fundamentals and sometimes even the history of art, like music, can be used as a guide to take your inspiration and improve upon it. Remember that note I taught you the G? Play. But also keep it rocking. Painters, authors, and musicians can all take from the lessons learned by their predecessors. Number eight, you need a publicist. For any aspiring musician, the most common desire among them is to have their songs heard. In order for that to happen, people need to know that your material even exists. Enter the publicist. Traditionally, a publicist is responsible for promoting your work on radio, newspapers, and maybe even television. You're in four scenes, and you expect me to get you a magazine cover? Scarlett Joe wasn't even on camera in her. She got a cover. But much like other aspects of this industry, the internet changed everything. Whether it be with a website or social media, the web has given independent artists a means by which to promote their own work. You kids don't know about the bleakin'? Is that a band? Are they on SoundCloud? Sometimes a single tweet or video can be enough for the whole world to learn about your new song. Number seven, windowing is key. There used to be a time where a movie wouldn't hit home video until half a year after playing in the theater. This window of time allowed studios to maximize the profits at the box office versus DVD sales. How's that possible? They do make excellent frisbees. A similar tactic was used by musicians who held off releasing their music to streaming services in favor of more CD or record sales. It's not smart programming to push your album when my album is still climbing the charts. That may have worked when physical media was the end-all be-all, but now, if your songs aren't on Spotify or Apple Music, listeners are largely moving on. We've shifted to an on-demand generation that isn't interested in waiting. When your music is ready, release it in any way you can. When's it coming out, by the way? The airing? No, 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 the smooth jazz album you're dropping. Number six, album sales are all that matter. You've undoubtedly heard of an album going gold or platinum, which used to be the biggest measure of success for an artist. Everybody thought they peaked when their sixth album went platinum, but then they came back and blew the doors off. Today, however, album purchases are few and far between in comparison to their performance on a streaming platform. Musicians are no longer earning buckets of money through album sales. Instead, diversification into things like merchandise, specialty subscriptions, and other lines of business help contribute to a band's bottom line. Patreon exists because when creators are paid, they can create more amazing things.
A highly active presence on social media keeps fans coming back for more and helps promote another major contributor of success, touring. Fans still want to see their favorite artists in person, so an active tour schedule is also key. So let's just give this everything we got. We may fall on our faces, but if we do, we will fall with dignity! With a guitar in our hands and rock in our hearts! Number 5. One Hit Can Change Everything Countless musicians have hit the airwaves with a song that caught the attention of millions. But as quickly as fans embraced that one tune, the artist can quickly fade into oblivion, never to be heard of again. Up-and-coming bands might think they too can catch the wave with a big hit and ride it into success. Gentlemen, we have ourselves a hit. But if there's nothing worthwhile to follow, they too will succumb to the fate of all one-hit wonders. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. A single song is not necessarily a path to success. It can also be a path to notoriety. You still need to have a plan for what comes later after you've made an impression. Number 4. Reality TV is the answer. Talent shows have always been a thing, but the introduction of American Idol gave millions of would-be singers a chance at superstardom. One of them is about to be a superstar. However, the reality couldn't be further from the truth. For every Kelly Clarkson or Carrie Underwood, there's countless Caleb Johnsons or Nick Fradianis who never struck gold even after winning. The allure of these shows is how it portrays the possibilities for anyone out there. But much like virtually all other reality programming, once their season is over, people move on to something else. Another idol has replaced me. Another idol? What idol? Those record deals often come with big gotchas, and if the artist can't spark major interest right away, they're left out in the cold. Remember, these shows are about providing entertainment first and foremost. Now is the time to apologize to America. Wow, it's wow. a fair point. Unbelievable. Number three. Natural talent is essential. No one would argue that someone who seems to have an aptitude for music may have an easier career. That doesn't mean, however, that practice doesn't play an equal or even greater role. That's music industry speak for I suck. Furthermore, despite how it may seem on the surface, the music industry is not all about those who perform. I need all hands on deck right now to come up with ideas on how to make this one stand out. Many find success in the business through other means. Even tone-deaf musicians find ways to contribute to the art that they love. A fantastic songwriter may not be able to play an instrument, but they can still collaborate with those who do and find great success at it. Producers, sound engineers, and countless other careers can be found in the industry without ever having to play an instrument or sing a tune. Number two, you're either striving or thriving. One major misconception about the music industry is the idea that you're either a huge success or a starving artist. In every profession, there's always somewhere to land in the middle of those two extremes. And the music industry is no different. For all the Taylor Swifts and Metallicas in the world, there are countless indie musicians who earn a reasonable living doing what they love without the international fame. Oh! Oh my! Yeah, you haven't seen that since 1983. <laughs> Recurring local performances, music lessons to others, session recording, and smaller tours can often be just as fulfilling. Joining us now for our finale, legendary local band, please welcome Mouse Rat! For many, it's a lot more about making music and enjoying it than becoming a massive superstar. If the music is truly what you love, follow it and not the fame and fortune. We are all really hoping that Pam's wedding works out. This could be a turning point for the band. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, record labels are the answer. Admittedly, this entry was true of the industry at one time. For more than 100 years, record labels were the key to finding success in the music industry. Final mix, where we at? Sal is making some tweaks. They signed you, recorded and put out your album, paid for your tour, and made you a star. It worked for so long because musicians had virtually no other way to get their music heard except through labels. That is, until the digital era emerged. Yes, record labels are still a huge part of the industry today, but they no longer have a grasp on musicians like they used to. TikTok is free. Instagram's free. YouTube is free. 
Bandcamp is free. Indie artists now have the internet and streaming services to push their work to the masses, all from the comfort of their own home. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.